Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Roxanne and on this channel I do all sorts of nail content. Demos, hauls, how-tos, you name it. In this video I'll be showing you how I take his nails from that to this. If you're interested, then please just keep watching. Hi my babies, I hope you're having an amazing day or night, whatever time it is whenever you are catching this video. So as you guys can see, we're jumping right in. Um, I did have my husband soak his nails for about five to eight minutes before moving in with my nail brush. And I used this nail brush to clean underneath his nail bed um, just to make sure I remove any debris. And now I'm going in with this cuticle softener and I will leave this on his nail plate for about 40 seconds before going in with my tool to remove the dead skin on the nail plate and around the eponychium area. Um, by the way, you guys, I am using a new manicure kit that I found on Amazon and I actually really have been enjoying it. It comes with three nail clippers, um, I believe a set of scissors, as well as four or five different cuticle tools. Um, so yeah, I will again, I will have that link down in the description box for you guys. So this is actually one of the cuticle tools that came in that manicure kit. So like I mentioned, I'm just gonna use this to remove any dead skin that is on that nail plate and around the eponychium area um, as well as some of the top coat from his previous manicure he did not want to soak and I honestly was not going to press the issue I knew that once I finished my manicure and buffed the nails down that I would have essentially removed that top coat anyway so I wasn't super pressed but yeah you guys I'll hush I'll let you watch me um, take care of his cuticle and eponychium area I'll hush you watch So now that I have that taken care of, I'm going in with my e-file at about 4,000 RPM and I'm using this diamond cuticle bit that came with my Melody Susie Scamander e-file that I'm using in this video. Um, so this is just a diamond cuticle bit, you guys, it's a cylinder bit, um, but I really do love it simply because it is really non-abrasive. Um, you'd have to be using this at a pretty high speed to hurt yourself or your client, so it is perfect for manicures. So I am using it to remove any of that top coat that will that is remaining on the natural nail plate um, as well as any dead skin on the nail plate that may remain as well as pushing back the eponychium to expose any more of that dead skin that needs to be removed so I'll hush I'll let you guys watch this I'll be back in a little bit oh but before I go if you guys start to notice my husband's hand sliding out of the shot I apologize he was getting really comfortable and did not realize that his hand was sliding back do you guys have those type of clients that just get really relaxed and comfortable and don't realize that they are moving their hands or flexing their fingers when they shouldn't be? Yeah, you guys, he's that client for me. So anyway, like I mentioned, I'll hush, I'll hush. Y'all yeah, watch.
all right you guys so now I'm going in with my cuticle nippers and I know I told you guys before that it is not legal to use these in the state that I'm living in however as I've mentioned these are my husband's hands and I think I know how to take care of him and I think he knows that I do so I'm going to use this to remove the um, dead skin that was pushed up by that cuticle bit um, in the last step that's another thing that I love about that cuticle bit that um, it does help to push up that dead skin right on the eponychium so you can see it, it literally stands the dead skin up for you so that if you do use cuticle nippers you can then go ahead and just nip them right from the eponychium area as they're no longer living so I'm gonna go ahead and do this to all ten fingers you guys excuse my hair coming into the shot definitely not a good hair day but I'll hush I'll let you guys watch this I'll be back in for the next step So now that I have that taken care of, I'm going in with my 180-180 grit hand file and I'm just going to take care of his free edge and just make sure that it is rounded um, on all of the nails and smooth and nice and even. Um, and then once I like what that looks like on his right hand, I will go ahead and then buff the top of the nail using a 240 grit hand file by Young Nails. I really do love this hand file as well, you guys. It gives a really nice finish to the nail. Um, and then you guys did just see me spray some isopropyl alcohol on top of the nail plate just to make sure I clean that hand off completely before moving on to his left hand. So now I'm taking his left hand and I'm doing the same as I did with the right. Using my 180-180 grit fan file, I'm just making sure that his free edge is nice and even. Um, and now I'm going in with the 240 hand file by Young Nails and just again taking care of smoothing out that top of the nail before cleaning it off with some isopropyl alcohol. So now I'm going in for a top coat you guys and um, I don't remember exactly which top coat this is but this is just a standard top coat and I'm going to go ahead and polish the tops of his nails um, and make sure that they look nice and manicured. Once I like what these four nails will look like I will go ahead and place them into the UV lamp for about 60 seconds before moving on to his right hand. Um, I then go ahead and take care of those nails polishing them um, just the four and then having him to cure those for 60 seconds before moving on to the left thumb um, I like to work the four fingers when it comes to gel polish even in male manicures um, I like to polish those nails first and allow those to go under for full cure before moving on to the thumbs just to make sure that there's no shifting of the gel so now that the gel has been cured I'm going in with this rose oil by young nails and you guys I absolutely love this rose oil it is so moisturizing it feels so good on the skin I'm gonna continue to use this as a massage oil for my husband just because because I believe he enjoyed it as well um, so yeah I do go ahead and give him a nice massage on both hands before putting his hands into prayer position um, and then placing a damp warm uh, washcloth over his hands what this does you guys is this um, actually relaxes his hand muscles and promotes blood circulation so I do love to of course have this step in his manicures um, if you guys are doing manicures for your hubby at home I strongly suggest this step um, I actually have it um, in his pedicures as well but yeah you guys once um, he is satisfied I do remove the damp warm washcloth and here are what his nails turned out to look like um, and I know he enjoyed that manicure I actually enjoyed giving him that manicure I hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to like comment and subscribe and tell me what it is you want to see next and yo tell a friend to tell a friend because the next video will definitely be some hand-drawn nail art I love you guys so so much y'all until next time, peace.